Hey guys! So yesterday I made cauliflower fried rice, which was delicious, but I was kind of debating whether to post the video or not, and once you watch it, you'll see why. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys forewarning that the recipe was my own. It was just kind of like, you know, when you know the flavors you like and you want to put something together, that's what I did. So when you do that in the kitchen, you kind of forget things. So I kind of forgot lots of things. So watch the video. Don't judge. I am not perfect. Aww. But anyway, so enjoy the video. Bye. Hey guys, Rena here. Tonight we're going to be making cauliflower fried rice. Again, remember we're doing this low carb thing, so I am really excited to try this because I got a food processor in, which I am super excited to try and I'm excited to try this recipe. So let's just get into it and look at the ingredients. So for our version, I'm gonna add some steak into it. You don't have to do that. What I have is I already have it marinating in some sesame oil, salt, pepper, about a tablespoon of soy sauce, I have scallion, and one clove of garlic minced, all mixed up. Over here I have one tablespoon of ginger minced with two garlic cloves finely minced, and then here we have a quarter cup of onion, small dice, and then we have some scallion for garnish at the end, and here I have a garden dill peas and diced carrots. This is a 15 ounce. I'll probably use half of this for the recipe. We have some more soy sauce, pepper, and salt. And then over here, we have one head of cauliflower in our new food processor. So excited. So let's So this is my first time doing this. We are going to pulse this up and we want it to look like a fine rice. So here we go. And I have a cool scraper thing, so I'm just gonna do that to mix it around a bit. Get those pieces around, like that, and let's do that again. Now I think that is the correct consistency. Just like this. Yep, there we go, perfect. Okay, so here I have about two tablespoons of peanut oil. Now feel free to use vegetable oil, vegetable oil if you don't have peanut oil, but I do like the flavor. So I have it preheated on medium high heat and I'm going to just add in the steak. And you just want to keep mixing it around until it is the right color, um, until it's browned and it's not red anymore. So we will just keep mixing it around until then. Okay guys, so the steak is basically done. There's still a little bit red, but as soon as this is through, I am just going to remove it from this, wipe out the wok, and then we'll start from scratch. So if you are starting from scratch and you are not using meat, this is where you would begin. I have one tablespoon of sesame oil in here and it is preheating. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my quarter cup of onions. We just want these to be just a bit translucent before I add in the ginger and the garlic because I don't want that to burn and this takes a little bit longer to tenderize so that's why I put in the onions first. So I just realized that we weren't recording. I'm not sure how much got recorded but that is the life of filming cooking. So frustrating but anyways so what I've done is I added in my cauliflower the vegetables, all of this basically at once. I added in a tablespoon of um, water and it is just 
kind of steaming right now, still at about medium heat. And I added some salt and pepper and three tablespoons of soy sauce. And you can always add more if you feel that you need more. But I always say just add, you know, taste it first and then add so that you're not overdue. So I'm just going to let this um, cook for a little bit longer uh, while the carrots and the peas warm up. And then once that's done, I'm going to add in the steak as well. Now, because I'm not a professional and I'm not used to this and I forgot to tell you before, we are adding two um, scrambled eggs just mixed up like that. Make a well in the center and then add in your egg. And feel free to leave this part out if you do not want egg in your cauliflower, but I think it's a good little step. Do a little bit of salt and then some pepper. And just keep stirring it up. So you get it nice and good. Just and if not just plate it up and serve all right guys so everything is plated see and now I'm just going to add some scallion as a garnish yummy and now we are just going to do the taste test let's see how it goes It's really good and definitely a do-over. Okay guys, so if you want to see me do more recipes, let me know. Bye!